Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. In this episode I was hoping to finish the greenhouse off but there's no chance there's a lot to do. So let's start and have a look at the list first of all. Peat farm automation. We're going to go and do that. And it needed bog earth and I was trying to make something else. Don't ask me what I was trying to do. Capsules will come to that. Diet from tall flowers. Let's have a look at that one first. I was trying to get diet from the flowers wasn't I? Well I've in my hand here I should get some I think I've got some boom wheel. Let me come along here and we can simply right click these as I was trying to do last time. And you can hold down the button and you should get a good 64 of these very fast. I think this must be season based. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these ones quickly and then I'll do the rosary. It doesn't take very long, does it? So I've now got one set of uh, sunflowers and in the backpack I've got another set of um, this uh, blown mills will do the same for the roses and get the two sets. Of course, this works with the other plants, which are tall ones from Minecraft. Um, oh, we can't see anything at the moment, can we? So I've got two sets of those now. So what I could actually do is split this up like this and just click that, and I guess I get a stack of dye straight away. And same for the roses, of course. There's no other recipes for that uh, in this pack at the moment, so. The other ones, of course, are these. Let's get some more bone meal. I actually want some more bone meal for other purposes. So you've got lilac. And that'll give you lilac. And peony will give you a peony. So we've got those two there. Which, of course, will make then some more dyes. So magenta dye. And this one will make... This one going to make pink dye, I think. Peony's pink dye. Now my inventory's suddenly full. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is actually make something else. I'm going to make some fertile soil, which is just this recipe like this. And this is from Rustic, and it's actually quite magic. So let's just put that on the ground for the time being and get my backpack open and put this away again. So I've got that picked up, and I'll put the two flowers in there. Yes, they've got away now. This is magic stuff. What you can do with it, put it down, you can jump on it. It doesn't break. And so we can take some, if I, if I picked it up, you get good at it, you can take some sugar cane and you can plant it on that without water about it, how about that? And there's a few other tricks and, treat, tricks and treats about that one. So it's actually night time. But what I'm going to do is make some more things while it's night time because it doesn't matter that much. I'm going to make some of these. Is that wrong? Ah, oh, it probably doesn't work with larch wood. It's one of forestry woods rather than Minecraft wood. Let's just take a Minecraft wood out of here. I think I need three logs in a row. So I'll make 12 like that. And I think it doesn't matter where you put them. Oops, it's gone the wrong way. I don't think it matters where you put these things. In which slot it might mean you can put them down here like that. No, that's not working. <laughs> Let's have a look at Rustic again. I want the... I want the thing that's a pole, which is this thing here. Wooden stake. Oh, it's planks. Okay, that's why it wasn't working. Whoops. Right, we'll put those, um, get some planks out of here. 15, and we'll take out 12. Get rid of these. And we'll put these 12 planks in here. And yeah, I could have guessed that, I couldn't I really? Vertical wood, that's not what I wanted, I think. Let's have a look stakes yep so I'm getting vertical wood so that's the same problem I had with the trapdoor last time if you remember so I had some dark wood oak let me just get rid of this wood here let's get this is dark wood isn't it um, dark wood yes first one oh, I've got three it's pretty bad. I only want two will do and I was trying to make a trapdoor and it had to be a dark oak trapdoor well it's this problem here. Let's go to this, and you can see here. There's actually I've already prepared. Look, it's uh, one of these recipes where you've got two two different recipes. So this is one from Melissa's Doors, and the other one is from Minecraft uh, Quark. Are the two? Those are the two ones we wanted. Um, of course, it's the same. It's true for these stakes as well. Of course, you got. Now put those down like that. And we get those two different recipes. So I'll get rid of this lot, put that in there. So you've got uh, vertical birch wood from Quark, or you've got the pillar from 
missing pieces. That's interesting. Again, from quote, we should have another. Should be another recipe for this. What's it going to? Do? Does it have to be in this side? This is the one. Wooden stake. So let's get those out. Actually, I wanted four. That's correct. That's exactly what I wanted. Right. I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back in a few seconds. Right. I'm back. So let's have a look at what you can do with this. It's quite neat as well. It's a bit of an aside. I don't really intend to do this today, but since I discovered it and I kind of read the book, that's the good good cure to this one. Let's just put this down somewhere. Let's put it down here. Okay, so I've got three blocks and I've got no no space to cut some actually because I forgot to empty it out. Let's just put these three in here. And on these three you can put some stakes. So you can put them up too high. Like this. And then you can take from here, let's put this low into here. Um we don't need canal seeds. We can take grape seeds. Uh we'll do that in a minute. We'll do that next time actually. We can take some chili pepper seeds. So that's tomato seeds. And this is chili pepper seeds. And I want to get rid of something. <laughs> what can I get rid of? I'll tell you what. Let's just put something temporarily in here. I'm sure I've got some flowers in here. I can get rid of those and those. Good. So tomato seeds and and chilli pepper seeds. And I was trying to figure out how to plant, plant those, but you have to do it like this. So you need to put a stake, and you right click the bottom of the stake like this, and you get the and it plants it for you. And the other it's the same for trees for chilli, and they grow up too high. The grape seed the grape seeds will come to another time. I think get rid of that. And this one, of course, will grow on stone, so I'll put it on stone just to demonstrate that as well. So, today's exercise. We need to make biomass. So, to make biomass, what do we need? We need actually quite a process to make biomass. It's not the simplest of things. I thought it would be. So, let's have a look. Let's get rid of this stuff on my inventory, first of all. Get rid of the seeds. We don't need those. And we'll put the dyes into here. Canary seeds, I'll just chuck them away actually because I don't need those. So, get those now and chuck those away. And I'll put those into th into the mixer. And I've got some more. I've got another generator here because I made I made another one just for some testing work I was doing. Right now, biomass. It is on the first page, and it's this stuff that to make biomass what you need to do is you need to ferment with some juice and different types of juice amber juice or fruit grape juice those are seven any basically type of juice apple juice now it depends on which you see the rustic ones are definitely the best biomes are plenty will also do and then when you get to your swell produce amber juice uh, it's all giving you about 375 well, it depends a bit on what you what some what sapling you've got in here, what fertilizer you've got in here, and what juice you need. Now, as it happens, wild bread juice is by far the best. So, how do we make juice? Let's have a look. We can put it through the squeezer. So, we can make juice by squeezing seeds. I think apple juice. Hold a second. I hope we can. That's not much use, is it? I need the juice. Let's have a look for recipes for juice. Ah, the bottler squeezer and the crushing table and I'm sure it's a squeezer it doesn't look it doesn't look right does it but I'm sure you can squeeze the, the juices so we need to make a squeezer and a bottler we need a bottler because we need to make things like this and we're gonna have a look at these as well the capsules now the capsules are dead easy because they'll make four wax capsules from all of these pressed waxes that we're getting beeswax they're getting a lot of those so that's my capsule note so where have I got some beeswax and usually in a place I don't know oh, I know where it is It'll be one of these chests see I've got all of this stuff in here 64 just from squeezing these combs that are coming out of here so we can take the wax comb out of here and we can put that in the presser over here and it'll make lots of these these here which are coming from Pam's Harvest craft stuff as you see I've got another 19, 19 honey in there put that in there and that'll squeeze those out into these pressed ones now this is actually surprisingly useful 
I didn't think it was, and I've never used it before, but I thought, oops, just done the wrong one, haven't I? Let's put those back again. Does that not work? Why not? Why does that not work? Uses. Have I got it in the wrong path? Nope. Oh, not working. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> well, let's uh, try something else. Then. Let's try the beeswax. Some of the bees. We've got plenty of beeswax. We're getting stacks of it from the bees. Well, actually, those cones. Have I got those cones with me? Yes, I have. Good. Let's go and go to the centrifuge quickly and put those and these into the centrifuge and take out whatever we've got at the moment. This is the centrifuge here. So we could put these frozen cones in and take out these. And then we can use these. That would definitely does work. It always throws you a bit when you you do something for the stone, it doesn't work. So you get these wax capsules and we get sixteen wax capsules from just twelve th twelve wax beeswax, which is actually quite a good return because these are basically disposable. And the uses of these is basically you fill stuff up with them. But it's all to do with the bottler here. So when you've got, for example, what's this one? Quick sand capsule. Oh, interesting. <laughs> anyway, we'll come to that. So we need a bottler. And we need a fermenter. And we need a squeezer. So let's get on with those three machines. So I know I need eight gears. Uh, sorry, I need two gears. I'm going to make those straight away. That won't take too long to do. It's quite fast these days. I cleared away this stuff, by the way, and I moved it to the back. We'll come and see that in a minute. So what have I got in here? I've got the wire press. Let's just take the gear press out of here. And right click that. Put the wire press away. You see, I've got some copper wire. And we'll put these eight bronze ingots into there like that. And while those are processing, we'll make the, the next bit. We, what we need to make some sturdy casings, of course, because every every uh, normal, well, pretty well every machine from forestry requires sturdy casings. So we need three of these. I'll do that, that, and then I can shift click them out. Double click that, and it'll take those out of there, and we can put those back into there like that. Now, I know we've got two more gears in here, bronze gears like that. So what we need to do is to make the bottler. So let's do the at forestry bit. We should see that fairly straightforwardly. So this is basically, oh, we need some cans of some description. And these are the tin cans. Now the tin cans we make with three pieces of tin will give us 12 of these cans. Which is also useful. I think I've actually got some already made. I'm going to use another three pieces of tin. So that's the recipe. Wind up like that. It'll give us those. Whether I have to fill that or not, I'm not sure. I would be surprised if you do. No, you don't. Good. So we can make the bottler. And then we need to make the squeezer. Which is this one. That's this time is tin ingots, and I haven't got the tin, tin ingots, but I've got everything else. Let's just get six tin, ing tin ingots out of here. More. And the last one of these is going to be the um, fermenter, which is this machine. And this is where we need the extra gears. So let's go and get those. It's just those gears we need. Try again. Actually, we'll take those with us as well. Actually, these have these also have a use. In fact, if I look at that. Uh, a another use as well, I'm trying to say, copper wire, use of that. You can use those in villager trades. Eight of those will give you one emerald. So you've got plenty of copper, good way to get emeralds, and you'll open up some more things. So let's get rid of those, they can go into that chest there. And then we can actually make the fermenter. Like this. Oh, I made a thermometer because I upgraded, 
magnetic craft. We'll do that another episode. I can't use the thermometer. I'm going to just put it in somewhere. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Actually, I do know where to put it. Let's put it over here. And of course, it's night time again. So my magnetic craft chest is just this single one here. And this, what he's done is he's changed a few bits and pieces. And these are actually working, but they're not working at the moment. I have to animate this. I have to be put it down again. And I think it's the wrong way around. It needs to be facing this direction. And it's animated <laughs> when you actually do something with this. Let's just put it down like this. This is also not something I really want to do today, but... You see, now the yellow bit goes out, and I think that's the direction it wants to work in. So, for instance, if we put down, say, one of these, I'll put down 16, it picks it up and puts it into the sorting system. Sorting system won't actually work at the moment because it's full. So let's just take this out of here. And they've also got filters and the rest of it on. So let's put the charcoal over here. See, what it's, do it's doing, it's taking the charcoal. This one's wrong. I'm going to get, this is the wrong way around. So I have to pick it up and put it in again. But that's how those work. And they've got nice animations. There you see, look at it doing its stuff. <laughs> it's taking the charcoal out of there and putting it in here. And that's not going to work, of course. Right, I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back at the farm. So this is where I moved the generators to. Uh, and I also built, I think see it, another two of these mirrors. So we've got eight mirrors. And I think eight mirrors are what we need for 40 watt, uh, 80 watts. So that should keep both of those uh, steam generators working full time. And I finished this off, laid it out, and did some testing on it. So we've got some some bog earth blocks here. So, and also you have to put round here uh, an extra block of something that, so that the grass doesn't grow across onto the onto the onto the farm. Otherwise, you get into a slight problem. So, I also put down some bricks down here just to fill it in a bit. And here is the pump. And what I was doing wrong is the usual problem of forgetting to put the lever on it. It needs power as well because it's the, because the water is going upwards and into this. So this is now completely full. And I've also got some peat made because I, <laughs> I figured out how to do it. And bog earth. So bog earth, the recipe for that is this one. This is where you use the water capsules in here. Oh, she got a bottler already made. Never mind. I made a bottler. So basically to put these capsules in here and then to fill them up. It fills them up with water. And the water is coming from the same place as this one. Now what I want to do is to put down the other two machines. And I'm just thinking about where I want to put this. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put a relay on the on the ceiling here. And we're going to connect this stuff across. This is, a, is everything in here is MV, so medium voltage. So let's just cross, kick that over there like that. So I can put the machines on this side. I think we should be able to reach, possibly not actually. Let's just move that one. Let's try and get further away and put it up here. It needs to be able to connect across. But I may need to put another one down, who knows. So we've got space so we can actually put this. I wanted to connect two machines down here. And maybe we want water to come in as well. So the first machine we're going to put down. Ah, and I've forgotten to do something else. I don't need the bottler anymore. I do need the squeezer. So we're going to take the the, the fluid or the fruit and we're going to squeeze it. And then we're going to put this fruit into here. Now I've got a feeling this is where I've got a slight problem. So where did that go to? It's fermenter. Put the fermenter down here. Nope, that's a bad place. I'm going to have to move this. Sorry. I've forgotten I need to automate this as well. So let's just bring it out here and do it around this side over here like this. It doesn't matter which order I put I've swapped those two around this time. I also put a, a lever on the redstone control to turn the farm off. So now what I'm going to do is put down another relay on top of this like this. So we've got a place for these to actually connect to. That'll look better anyway. So let's do that. 
and we can put on this one two connectors as well uh, the MVY connectors let's put those down first of all and then connect everything up like that so yeah so what we need is bog earth wasn't it so bog earth is sand and sand and dirt oh that's not too bad so we can take a stack of that uh, or even four stacks of that <laughs> and you see it's still got plenty of stuff in it so it's quite generous so what you then do is you put your bog earth into here but i'm not going to do that yet i'm going to do something else first i'm going to set up the automation of this let's move the bog earth out of the way i'm going to move the bottle out of the way as well because that was a boob and i need an item router and i'll hop up We'll do that in a minute. So what we want to do is we want I move the hatch as well, the farm hatch down onto this corner. So what I want to do is I want to take the stuff out of here. So what I do also need is a some building blocks. So the ones I'm using are these 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 stone bricks. So what we do is we want to put one of these down here like this. And we're going to extract from this hatch and put it in stuff in on this side of the thing that's why I put it on the corner because then you've got two faces you can use for this so we need to do it like this I'm also going to put stuff into the furnace but the furnace is too low at the moment I need to put it up again I'll possibly put the heater in its place let's just break that I've got enough space of course let's just move some stuff out of here that, that'll do for the time being because our goal is to make ash and you can see I've been making some ash from peat that's the whole goal of this the whole idea of this process so what I want to do is I want to take this out probably two blocks I think I think we go out two blocks we'll see so I need to put this down first of all and that's the extractor so it's going to extract from here and I'm going to send this into an item router so I want to extract try again you see it's starting to extract stuff <laughs> uh, so let me, I don't want it to do that just yet let's just break it up because it's going to pull all the stuff into my inventory I don't want so it's going to extract stuff out here and we're going to put that into the let's put that up there actually we're going to put that into the item router which is this one like that so the item route is going to send stuff in two directions one set it's going to bring stuff back and put it into here so that's what I'm going to do first so I would like to put into here bog earth so I want to get bog earth extracted from here like that I'm not sure if I did it this way when I was testing stuff up actually we can put a hopper on the top of this like that uh, yes thank you so i need to bring this one back a little bit more so i can connect that wire across ha uh -huh. very funny so let's just do that i think one more block back will be fine that looks that looks reasonably good doesn't it let's just right click this across to that like that and get off the <laughs> and get off the thing yeah forget you i've got to jump on this of course because i've got the armor on uh, let's do this one as well let's do this one as well and hopefully i don't break everything no yes that's okay so we've got one i could probably take it around the other side as well maybe i'll change that later on so the, on the yellow side what i want to do is to take out um, have I got this in a good place? You know, I don't think I've got this in a good place yet. I think I need to move it a bit. F What's wrong with that axe? Huh? Let's do it. Put this, put it down here. Sorry, I'm having a think. The reason I'm thinking is that what I want to do is I want to route it across here um, and I can't do, put the item router directly on that so I've got to put it across here but it won't connect if I do it like that so then I have to send it back 
here. That'll do, I think. I'll put, I'll put it back. And if I get it wrong, I'll just get it. I'll do it in my own time and fix it up again. Make it nice and pretty, so to speak. So let's put it back again. Um, here. I had it here before, didn't I? Let's do that. So the items are going to go in there, and we want Bogoth to go that way. So let's get out of the, here. I've got Bogoth in this chest. No, nope, this chest. So what I want to do is I want to filter the which side is it? The green side. So green wants to take Bogoth. So I can put Bogoth in at the top from the hop here. So if I put Bogoth, put that in there, it'll come back to my inventory because I've got my magnetic armor on. But let's put it right a bit further away. You see that goes in there, but it's stuck because I'm pulling it still. Right. So now you can see it's gone into there. And it's actually planted it. So what we want is the stuff to come out of here, and I want the peat to go into the into the, um, the furnace to turn into ash. I don't think we have any other uses for it at the moment, so I'll put it down like that. So on the yellow side, we're going to put peat. Um, yeah, I think this will do fine. So I'll just put it like that, and it should go straight into there. So if I put some peat down it'll go into here and then it gets cooked now I've got a slight no no it'll work this is what the external heater was for which is in this chest and we could put the external heater beside this not so it doesn't generate any pollution like that and then we can heat this up with the right connectors at the back so I can put a connector on here like this and then we can connect this up to there a lot of connections so this is then going to get powered and on the other side of this what we're going to do is we're going to take the items out of the red side here let's get the, these into gear so they come out like this and what I'm going to do is we're going to put the soil into here what I really need to do is put it into a crafting system don't I so now have we got enough yes we're going to fight so I've got a chest somewhere at least I thought I had a chest somewhere. Yeah, we've got a chest. Let's just put it like this. And put the chest down here. It'll do, yeah, fine. So what we're going to then do is we're going to configure this. So the, the other items, other than um, peat, which is going to go out on the yellow side. So let's get some peat out of here. Put it in the yellow side over here. And that should be what we need to do. So let's just turn the, the farm back on again. And first of all, put the bog earth back into here. Let's get the bog earth out in the wrong place. And put it into the hopper here. And of course, that's then going to go down. I'm going to have to get out of the way a bit. Or put on covered hoppers. You can see it's dropping there and it's going into the farm. And it's building up. The farm's still turned off. Now if I go, it will plant stuff. Oh, it's night time. And you can see it's planting the stuff out in this pattern. I changed the farm as well. I changed it to a manual farm. And the reason I did that is because um, the automatic farm was actually kicking out of it. Bog earth, I was getting, it was, it was working both ways. So I have a quick sleep, if I can it was not going to take too long to do this and because it was kicking out the bog earth I had a bit of a problem so it should be carrying on it's not finished yet I don't think what we get out of here is dirt you see it's still going in there and it's still going in here now this is full the problem is I've got too much peat and too much dirt so we can take the peat out of here like this and then it should have space to carry on and we'll do something with the dirt. I've got to auto craft the dirt. So let's put the peat in to here. Why is that not being but of course it's not being pulled out. <laughs> oh. Alright, I've messed this up a bit. I've got to do something slightly different. Because I haven't set the extraction on this, have I? Which you probably you probably noticed. 
Um, so let's break this piece up here, which means the yellow one's not going to work for the, for the dirt anyway. So it's going to get stuck a bit. So where is the extractor here? Like that. And you see, I'm now picking up dirt, and I've got to get off this thing. So I have to press Shift, and then I can get off it. Cool. So the dirt's going into the item router, and the item router hasn't got anywhere to place it because I messed it up a bit. So anyway, you see what I'm trying to do with that one. I don't want to spend any more time. I'll, for, I'll sort it out later on. Because we can put the dirt back into this one, of course. Like that. The dirt can be recycled, making more bog earth. And we just need some sand. So we're swap, basically substituting sand for peat. Now, next things we need to do to get the, the biomass to work. So we need fruit juice. So we need to squeeze that into juice. So what I'm going to do is that. I wonder what's going to happen to all this dirt. I need to send this dirt somewhere, don't I? I tell you what I'll do. I'll remove this furnace for the time being. i put another chest in its space. Which will work like that. And then we just take basically take the peat out of here and then it'll everything else will get put into this chest so all the dirt and peat will end up in the same place um and either i'm going to extract it separately into the furnace we can put it, or do something else with it i'm not exactly sure yet or i can put another row in the front here to actually send this into a into the furnace or maybe even in the side you know so that <laughs> So that's it, of course. Maybe even send it downwards. No, yeah, you could send it down as well, couldn't I? Have a second layer underneath here and put it into the furnace at the bottom. Okay, good. So the next thing, we need some juice. Let's go and get that sorted out. And I discovered that, that so while I was looking at rustic for some reason, or iron berry juice, the rustic juices are by far the best. So we have got some rustic stuff over here, so let's have a look at that. Oh look, we got some tomatoes. <laughs> Chili's still growing, but we've got some tomatoes. It's this one, the wildberry. So this one of these, we've got some more in this chest here. Like that, just six of those. We've got some more wildberry bushes. Let's put those down. I'm just going to put them at the back here. I think it's probably as good a place as any. That's interesting. I don't understand that. That one seems to get stuck in the wall. Going to break it. Axe. Oh yeah. Try that again. <laughs> Why does it do that? Do, I do it here. Nope, it wants to go in the wall. Whatever I do. So these will then grow wild bricks. Let's go and have a look at this wild bridge stuff. Oh, I do need something else. Let's do that first. What we need is a pump. In fact, we need a couple of pumps as it happens. I can use one for here to pass the, the syrup stuff around. So let's fill up pumps. Now to make pumps, we need these fluid pipes. Can I get rid of some of this stuff in here? I think I've finished with this mostly. I probably should put that into the other, I'll put it in the other place. Is that the LV capacitor? I've got an MV capacitor in here as well. I'll probably take that out of that and put those stuff into that. Yes. Yeah, I'll do that then. I'll leave the MV stuff over there, I think, in the other place. And conveyor belts, I probably need those on me. So we need to make some pumps. Now to make pumps we need this this and uh, lots of sheet metal. And if I remember rightly I made about sixty oops oops that's not very good was it? Fell into the water. Gonna get out of here, yes I can't good. Let's get to our crafting table. So we need a pump. So we finished with these forestry machines for the time being. This one. I make two of these. I can actually make three, but I want two. They do stack good. And we also I make some more of these as well. Let's look at the recipe for that one. Another eight, just just to be on the safe side. 
I put the other ones in here. Okay, good. I'll have those with us anyway. And the way this works, did I get some levers with me? No, I need some levers, of course. Let's get a couple of levers. Actually, I made those previously, didn't I? But I made a stack of them because I knew I knew I was going to need them. I've got space. Yes, I've got space. Let's take four out of there. Um, I usually should have them in here, but I always forget to put them back in. So let's put two in there and keep the other two for the other two pumps. Now, I do not need this one, it's another one of those which needs to be turned around. Power. What we do need is just a, it's just that. Look, the sapling. Uh, let's move a long jump. Let's go this way. See, that is completely now done. And it should be starting to extract out of that. We got to sort that out. Four stucks and five and three peat. Sorry about that. So, right, so that's the I need the pump done time. Let's sort out the pump next. So the pump, what you do with this, is you put it down between the two machines. But unfortunately I've got to break one of these machines, of course, to put it down. So it doesn't matter which one I do, let's put it down here. Because I need to access this one of these faces. It doesn't matter which face I access. And we need the engineer's hammer. Now we have to break this one and reassemble that again. So what we do need is it goes from the squeezer side. So we can put into the squeezer the wild producers. And that'll squeeze up. And we should get some wild produce in there like that. So each one of these gives you 250 millibuckets. Quarter of a bucket in other words. So we'll get one and a half buckets of this. So what I can then do is I can tell this pump. Um, this is the best way I've found to do it. So if I can most compact way of doing it anyway. So we can basically shift right click this side to be an output. And the other sh we shift it and we hold that one and it's then an input. So then we can put the machine back again because we need the wild produce to go into here with some veg some juice or whatever. We don't need to give it any power. Let's put this back again. Hopefully it'll connect up. Yes, it connects up over that. That's no problem whatsoever. This has now got power. And then we just put the lever on on here again. See, we don't need power on here. So put the lever down here and turn it on. And this will get the juice in. So we've got that one and a half buckets of juice. Now, what we need to do next is get some whatever recipes we need. So we, I think recipes are showing up. Sure, recipes are good. So any form of sapling will do the trick. And I think another one was wheat. No, 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 wheat. I'm thinking of something else. So let's go and get some saplings. I'll go and get some saplings. And different saplings produce different amounts. So I guess that the biomass. I suspect that Minecraft ones are fairly not so good. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're slightly less. They're a third of a bucket or something like that. Strange amount. And we need some fertilizer or some compost. Now let's make the we need to make compost. Let's how do we do that? So we've got ash around dirt will give us compost or wheat. We'll also go around dirt or pods will give us compost. It doesn't matter whether it's pods. I think it doesn't matter whether it's any of these will do. So that's a good way of doing it as well. So let's go and do that. Tell you what, I'll go and do that and come back in a few seconds. Right, I've got some saplings, so we can put the saplings into here. Shift click those into that. So what we now need. It says here, no fuel. Fuel is, I guess, in this case, is going to be compost. So let's get the compost out of here. So I made another thing. The compost, pretty straightforward. Put the dirt in the middle and just do a cross of wheat. Will give us 64 compost, which we can then put into here. And that should be what we need to make biomass. Now you ask, why do I need biomass? Well, the answer is, what we were going to do, let's have a look at this again. I don't need the pump, I need the, well, I don't need biomass anymore. Actually, we probably do. Let's look at the uses of this one. Try that again. Clicking on the right thing. The uses. In the, f in the still carpenter, oh, we can make 
ethanol okay this is the one we need to make we need to make these camouflage paneling and the camouflage uses of this one that's why of course I did it is to make the greenhouse block so in order to make this we need to make the, the ash bricks and the ash bricks we can do now because we've got ash and and some brick well that was hard work wasn't it so we can craft those out to make the, the bricks so let's have a look what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the furnace down the bottom here as I had it originally like that I'm going to break these two off here like this I'm going to you know, because I'm going to be picking up stuff of course I don't want to pick up and we want those conveyor belts which we're going to take the stuff out of here and I think I ain't sure, I'm not trying this, this is my first time of course as usual that probably means I'm going to mess it up now the bottom side is this one so what we can do is then take the peat put the peat into the bottom side we should see then and that goes automatically I want to put that into the bottom side like that oh look it's working let's see if that goes into the furnace yes it has and has that worked it's gone into the wrong part of the furnace <laughs> oh it needs to go into the top of the furnace oh well there's something else for me I have to figure it out let's put it in the top of the furnace and then it'll to get turned into ash like that in fact it's probably, it probably can be used as a fuel anyway so so that's then getting powered from this heat which isn't making any pollution of course so we're then getting the ash so four bits of ash will make the, the greenhouse blocks it's quite a long process this it was actually a bit of a surprise to me I didn't expect to have to make quite so much stuff so we need we've now got the paneling so let's go back to the paneling let's go to the uses of this so it needs to be made in a carpenter with biomass so that's the next stage of the thing so I needed to make a carpenter uh, not a bottler if I make a carpenter it's going to be a bit tight in this corner it's going to have to move everything across one block brilliant anyway I'll put down another pump here so the biomass will go here on that side and we'll put this then I have to reconfigure that so I'm going to do because I've run out of time already I'm going to do that next time. There's a lot of dots on me. I, don't know I, I was exploring and found some more kimberlite, by the way. Um, so I'm going to go and do that next time. And hopefully next time we'll have got the greenhouse block sorted out. And start building the greenhouse. So, until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.